Welcome for today's lesson. We're going to study income tax and we are told that the table below shows income tax rates for a certain year. Then we're given monthly income in Kenya shillings and the tax rates in shillings in percentage form. Eh? So we're given all the brackets. Then we are told that a, a monthly tax relief of 1,172 was allowed. Opunyi's taxable income in the last month was 3,200. Calculate his taxable income. Therefore, the taxable income for this gentleman called Opunyi, which lies in the last band, is 3,200. So within this bracket, we have 3,200, which means after 35,600, the extra amount is 3200 and therefore for us to get his taxable income we will just take 35600 and we add 3200 and this will give us 38800 so this is the amount in Kenya shillings which will total to his taxable income now we are told to calculate in the next question, the amount of tax he paid in a month. So for us to get the amount of tax, let me start by using this space. Because we have taxable income, now we are going to tax it until in the last bracket. And in the first bracket, we will tax an amount of 9400 at 10%, which means 940 then in the next bracket, we'll be taxing, when we take 18,000 and we subtract 9400, we're getting a 600 at the rate of 15%. So the rate of 15%, this gives us 1290. Then in the next bracket, we have 22, no, 266, 00 minus 18,000. For us to know what lies in the third bracket, we subtract this amount from this, such that we're getting 8600 at the rate of 20. And this gives us a 1720. Then in the fourth bracket, we'll be subtracting 35600 and 26600 getting 9,000 yeah 9,000 so that 9,000 is taxed at the rate of 25 so minus 9,000 times 25 percent this gives us 2,250 then finally in the last bracket now it was already given that we have 3,200 in the last bracket times 30%. So this one is taxed at 30%. And this gives us 960. So the total payable tax is going to be when we add all the taxes in the brackets such that... Um, we get 7,160 shillings. This is the tax which is payable to this guy. But now he's given a relief of 1,000 or 1,172 in other words. So we less relief, we subtract relief from this amount so that we may know the net salary that he pays in a month. So when you subtract relief, then this gentleman pays 5,988 shillings in every month. So that is what you call the tax he pays in a month. Then apart from paying tax, we are told the following in part C, that Oponye's salary included a medical allowance of 8,000. He contributed 6% of his basic salary to a circle. Calculate his net pay. So for us to get his net pay, we should get taxable income, which is 38,800. And 
we subtract all the deductions he makes. But now we are told that in this amount, in this uh, salary, all of it, there is a medical allowance. So for us to get basic salary, we subtract allowances from the taxable income. Because we know taxable income is basic salary plus allowances. And now we have the taxable income and the allowance. So to get back to the basic salary, we subtract 8K or 8,000 such that we remain with 00803. So this is the basic salary. So in the basic salary now, he pays 6% to a circle such that 6% of this 6% of 30,800 gives us 18.48 so he pays 18.48 to a certain circle for us to get net tax or net pay sorry the net pay we will get the taxable income and we subtract all all deductions and we we'll get that eight eight hundred and all deductions includes the eighteen forty eight which it pays to a circle and the tax it pays every month is also among the deductions fifty nine eighty eight so it pays fifty nine eighty eight therefore when we subtract Thirty-eight eight hundred, and we subtract eighteen forty-eight and fifty-nine eighty-eight. We get thirty thousand nine hundred and sixty-four shillings. So this is the amount he gets every month. Thank you for following. Subscribe to this channel and share the link.